All right, guys, we are back at my truck. We'll do a little uh, winter prepping for the truck. How do I uh, prep for winter in a big rig? When you're applying online at primeinc.com on your application, make sure when it asks you where you refer to by an active prime driver, make sure to click on yes. The box below that, make sure to put my driver code, Strexa. Now let's do some trucking. Came home for the night, took a shower, had to transfer some files, and my truck is disgusting, sorry. <laughs> Okay, uh, oh, what I needed, oh yeah, I definitely needed my glasses. I, guys, I think I might have left one of my pair of glasses in a restroom, uh, which sucks. Oh, and I think the dealership put a, hit, hit my door on something, my side box, but too late. I'm gonna have to end up getting this fixed or Prime's gonna charge me when I turn the truck in. Okay, while we're here, I'm gonna get this out here because it's winter time. Let me get some of this crap out of here, okay. Let's see here, let me get this bag out. We're gonna take this uh, water jug home and I need to get a few things. There's an extra pair of shoes in here. There's some shoes I need to take. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should I should probably grab my, uh, grab my boots. I got boots at home I need to grab. I'll just put my hay dudes in there. I'll, I'll bring these two pair of shoes home. I don't need all those shoes in my truck. But we gotta go to Walmart and we gotta prep up the truck for, uh, for winter time. <clears throat> and so I bought this coolant at a TA the other day. And sorry guys, my truck is disgusting right now. Whew, it is freezing right now, like 25 degrees. My hands are freaking cold, cold as crap. Okay, uh, this one, that one's empty. I'm gonna toss this out because that thing's just been leaking, leaking my, like a mother sucker. I will put that coolant down there. All right, let's go throw these two, these few things away here. Lock this back up. Whew. It's cold, y'all. It is cold, cold. All right, I need to throw this, uh, I need to throw this damn rug away. I gotta clean the inside of my truck. Okay. Oh yeah, it's freezing. My hands are like a little frozen. So I need to buy a new rug when I'm at Walmart. All right, my hands are freezing cold. They feel like icicles right now. You guys, you know when you're in the cold, super cold, you feel like someone's stabbing your hands? Someone's living in Arizona right now. No, I don't know how that feels, bro. Sorry. It's funny I said that because I used to live in Arizona. Lived in Phoenix for a long time. It get hot, I'll tell you that. Hey, they were still nice, it got cold. It would get down to like 30, 28, maybe 35. It's a lot colder down here in Springfield, Missouri in the winter time, I'll tell you that. I think Spencer, Iowa is one of the coldest places. It's like negative 22 last year. Whew, okay. Hands in my pocket, hands in my pocket, hands in my pocket. Oh my God, guys, that feels so good. Oh man. Okay, well, that's what we're gonna do. I gotta go up to Walmart. I gotta get some anti-gel to treat the fuel during the cold weather. I gotta get some negative 30 windshield wiper fluid. Always keep extra wiper blades on your truck. I already have a pair of those, so I'm not worried about the wiper blades. It is cold, man. Ah, ah, it's cold. I got some good gloves in here somewhere too. Oh, that reminds me, I gotta grab some more gloves at Walmart too. See, I gotta grab some things at Walmart. And I need to clean the inside of this damn truck floor. It is disgusting. Disgusting. Throw that out there. Ah. I gotta put some stuff back inside of my car. Some things I'm not using, like my damn, uh, my damn Yeti X microphone and this uh, Steady Pro for the GoPro. I don't use that in a couple different mounts in my T-Mobile box. I need to get, I need to make some more, more room. Bro, of course, of course this door would be locked. I gotta open up my damn side box so I could put all the other stuff that I got for my truck in there. 
All right, I don't need any windshield washer fluid inside my truck right now. I just checked, it looks good. So we're gonna slide, slide these right inside of here. Got two bottles of de-icer. Oh, snap, two bottles of anti-gel. Bottle of fuel injector cleaner. I'll put that in my truck once I start rolling. Then I also got, pick you up some of this uh, diesel 911 for emergencies. And I use a funnel because the, on these freight liners, this right here makes it hard to pour in the uh, Lucas anti-gel. I'm sure you can get other bottles. I like the Lucas stuff, it's cheaper. So I just get a funnel and pour it in. I actually have a longer funnel in there, but I just grabbed another one. And I don't need this purple degreaser because I already have a bottle in my truck. I will put this, got some of these uh, Scott shop towels. These are good to have guys. I'm gonna put Scott right over there. I got me a little 12 pack of water. Ugh. I put my uh, Gatorade powder packs in those. It's a lot cheaper. Woo wee. Always busy, busy, man. Busy, busy. Hashtag busy life, man. Trucking. Woo wee. Okay. Now, all the stuff that I just bought for my truck at Walmart, tax write off. Well, not my groceries, but you get a per diem. But see here, this is October 31st. All right, so I got to write this down for October 31st. I'll put this. Uh, screenshot up here i just got a message from dispatch they want me to take an empty an empty clean trailer so no big deal i got him rex is a team player baby team rex let's go all right so i just have to i always take a picture of my receipts and then i save them into a folder for tax for tax purposes let's go to my albums let's go to tax receipts oh yeah i forgot i got uh, a truck truck and trailer wash 15 dollars off for this uh truck wash i got okay and i just spent 151 dollars in additives and stuff for my truck so or wait wait yeah yeah whoops 151 i'll put this here up on the screen this thing that's on the screen since i'm a lease driver i use abacus cpas and these are you know things i write off you know if i buy office supplies for my truck like i don't know pens paper paper towels Lysol wipes, toilet paper. You know, if you if I get like uh, if I buy a jacket or a safety vest, safety shoes, safety shirt, safety pants, operating equipment and supplies would be like if I buy tools for my truck. I write down all the scales that I use to pay for. If I pay for parking or tolls out of pocket, I write all that stuff down. Make sure that you write down everything, all your ATM fees for credit cards, uh, cash shower and laundry. I mean, anything you buy for your truck. Your cell phone bill is a write off. Your my Trucker's Path app is a write-off. My internet box is a write-off. My Sirius XM, that's a tax write-off for me. So make sure to write everything down on these forms. Um, where's my folder at? I actually need to put this up. So I'm actually gonna have to submit this. Wait, where did I just, where did I put the folder for this? Oh, it's right here in front of my damn face. Jeez Louise Rex, come on. Get it together, bro. We'll do that here a little later. We'll scan it. I'll show you how to scan your, your tax forms online through the Prime app. We'll do that together. But I'm going to bounce up out of here. And I got to head home real quick because I just got my daughter some candy. Uh, she said, we'll talk when I get in the car. I tried to leave. My uh, Lincoln wasn't even started up. I thought I left it running for some reason. I'm an idiot. Okay, so well, we're going to head over here to this trash can real quick. I got to throw some stuff away. Uh, and then I gotta head home and take all. I got some bags of candy my wife wanted me to get for our daughter. She said um, she got her, her costume and everything and she looked super cute in it. And she told my wife she didn't wanna go trick or treating this year because daddy's gonna be on the road. So I kind of feel bad about that. She said she, she feels safer whenever daddy's, when daddy goes. Cause I went last uh, Halloween. Hang on, let me get all this stuff out of here guys real quick. Some trash I gotta toss out real quick guys. Where's I got my badge? Okay, cool. Oh shoot, I gotta send a message real quick back to uh, dispatch. Let them know that works out. Tell them we are good. Uh, messages, cool. All right, I just sent a message to dispatch. Oh, I'm taking my, uh, y'all see the blue cooler back there? I'm taking my cooler back and I got some, all these other like random boxes, like a, a T-Mobile box I got, some mounts for my GoPro. They've been sitting in my truck for a while, y'all. And, uh, I was just trying to make some room. I'm always trying to move things around and I try my best to keep my truck as organized as possible. Oh man, come on. Huh. Voila, open up Sesame. ETA till I get to the house. About 22 minutes roughly. Let's do it. Let's get on out of here. Bro, I'm so mad right now. I forgot my damn, I forgot to buy a new damn rug for the driver's side because it was completely destroyed. I mean, 
when I say destroy, completely destroyed. But I'm gonna go toss out this milk. Let's fire up the fire up the truck. I need to fire up the truck and build the air pressure so I can use my uh, air nozzle here to blow out some of this crap. I'm gonna start wiping everything down here. But Bebin, I already had a purple of, uh, bottle of degreaser in here. Oh, I should have bought some more freaking uh, Lysol wipes. I gotta wipe down my dash, it is nasty, bro. Oh yeah, this thing is nasty back here, bro. Holy snikers. That is nasty. Oh, my dash cam's been uh, turning itself on and off, so I think there's something wrong with it. Yo, 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 make a cocoa. Oh snap, man, I think I just got, I think my underwear went way too far up my crack. Let's go uh, talk with the boss people. I'm supposed to be taking uh, this trailer. He, they just messaged me to make sure I got my key in my pocket. I got a couple keys, but I always keep one in my pocket. And I got one hid in here too, in case I actually lock myself out of my damn truck. We don't want that. I gotta find this uh, message here, what they say. It will be the next one they are bringing in that I can have you shag out of here for us. I'll put this here up on the screen for you. Message from dispatch and they just said, trailer will be M30022 to take out of here to AFB. All right, let's go in here in the tank wash, guys. It's a little windy, guys, a little windy. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know where my other sunglasses are. My faves, my, my other black ones. I don't know if I left them at the house or what, but. It's kind of in a hurry trying to get my truck all stocked up. Get everything all cleaned out. Let's go up in here and see what's up with these fellas. It's my friends in here. All right, y'all. So they got my uh, my trailer is in the bay right now. They're washing it. So yeah, they'll be done with uh, my trailer. Hopefully here in the next 45 minutes, we'll hook up to her. We'll head down to AFB, drop the clean, empty trailer. And then we'll hook up to the loaded trailer. My uh, trailer is ready for, uh, uh, and these are all brand new trucks over here purple one the two blue ones and a green one all brand new trucks while we're waiting for this trailer guys i'm gonna go ahead and put some of this uh fuel injector cleaner because i'm gonna be getting some fuel oh shoot in uh mount vernon so i'm just gonna go ahead and pour a little bit of this in here now mm, maybe should i put a little bit of anti-gel in, in both sides yeah let's put a little bit of anti-gel in both sides guys i don't want to spill this so let's be really careful that would suck to spill it all over myself i'm just gonna dump a little bit in here Put just a little bit. All right, we're gonna put a little bit of that in each side, and then we're gonna put some of this uh, uh, fuel injector cleaner. I wanted to make sure that that thing. I want to make sure that it fall in there. Let me uh, adjust my camera. Maybe you guys can see a little bit better. All right, so we're gonna put some of this uh, fuel injector cleaner stuff in here. a little bit more in there there we go this stuff's like kind of a little thick all right yeah, there we go that should be good all right now what's up with this fuel cap okay there we go shoot okay so let's go to the other side real quick guys and let's do the same thing we're just going to put a little bit of each in here well, since we got the fuel injector cleaner stuff in here already, uh, I should have just grabbed my big funnel out of here, but all right, this stuff's okay. Yeah, fuel, complete fuel treatment. Yeah, this stuff is going in there really slow. All right, let's pour 
pour some of this in here. A little anti-gel. Pour a little anti-gel in there. There we go, that should be good. Okay. Now that is, uh, those are good. Let's put the cap back on here. Put the caps back on. Is I'm gonna try, make sure not to forget that. And emergency 911, as for emergencies. I'm gonna let that stuff keep dripping. I don't wanna put it in there like that yet. Hopefully I don't forget it. Okay, I need to put those up because those are gonna be, I got some new gloves. Tax right off. Those are, these are gonna be for whenever I pump off. And we're gonna just, uh, we're just gonna let this warm up here just a little bit. Oh, you know what I need to grab is I'll just grab a bag, guys, in here, and I could put I could put this around the uh, the funnel that I got back here. There we go. I'll just put this in here. There we go. So if it drips, it'll just drip into this bag here. All right. Yeah, we're just gonna creep and go super slow. I'm just moving my truck over here so when they're done with this trailer, I can hook up to it and bounce out of here. I thought I was gonna park it right here. You guys see that trailer? They said they'll be done with it in five minutes. So, we're always straight lifting up a semi truck with a forklift. Look at this. Straight moving that thing with a forklift. We're gonna uh, we're gonna post it up right here, guys, until uh, until they are uh, done with the trailer. Should be done with it here in just a minute. First things first. Let me get my uh, get my camera off of here. Ta-da! There we go. All right, that should be good. All righty. All right. First thing we want to do is whoa. Oh, there we go. Let's connect our hoses here real quick, y'all. M30022. All right, let's put some air in it real quick, guys. There we go. Let's make sure the locking jaws are around the kingpin. Yep. The wash ticket should be in here. Let's make sure that the, uh, I got seal 8390, 8390, that one's on there. All right, let's go up to the top real quick and then I'll bring that right back over here. So you got seal number 8394. 8394 is on here. All right, so let's put this back in the tube because we're just doing, we're just dropping this off over at the shipper and we're picking up a different trailer. All right, let's get our landing gear up. Oh, maybe if I inspect the trailer, Rex. We'll do the pickup trailer inspection next and then uh then we can uh go ahead and skip on out of here i'm gonna show you how to do the pickup trailer inspection here in the prime app i'm gonna hit the three lines on the top left i'm gonna go to macros we're gonna go down to where it says pick slash drop we're picking one up m30022 is the trailer number i believe yes i put a lock on it Repair required before loading, no. Dirty inside, no. Trash inside, no. Dirty outside, no. It looks like they cleaned it. No damage, so we'll scroll. I'll hit done. We'll hit send. And it's as simple as like that. One, two, three. That's the pickup trailer inspection. I gotta stop and grab some fuel. And Aurora. 
Let's get this gate on the, opened up now. Oh shoot, I should have checked to see what trailer I, I was grabbing. That's all right, I'll, I'll check my messages whenever I get to, uh, oh, whenever I get there after I drop this trailer. But first we're gonna grab some fuel. I'm not gonna fill up. This load, uh, I'll get delivered before payroll cut off on Wednesday. So I'm not gonna fill my truck up all the way. I got half a tank right now. I might put like 30 or 40 gallons in maybe. All right, let's, uh, let's hit it, you guys. I need, to, I need to adjust my damn, uh, my damn front hood mirrors again. I don't know why they keep going down. All right, it looks like we gotta wait for the train, you guys. All right, let's get past these railroad tracks. Let's look both ways while we cross them railroad tracks. While I was waiting for uh, the train, I uh, I found out what trailer I'm going to be grabbing. I think it's M30028. We are good. All right, this is a, a place we pretty much go to all the time to uh, pick up preloaded trailers at Digest. People ask me, what, what's, uh, what's Digest? Basically, Digest is the taste and the flavoring for dry dog food. They use the liquid to spray it on the kibbles after they make it at these uh, dog food plants, and they use that digest for the flavoring, tasting the smell of the grains. All right, so we got to, uh, we got to drop this bad boy. All right, let's cut her wide a little bit. There we go, guys. All right. Okay, quit beeping there. Quit beeping there, truck. Let me get it a little closer, guys. All right, that should be pretty good. Right, right there. Yeah, I could have got it a little bit closer, but that's okay. That'll be just fine. They'll be okay with that. I could have got it a little closer, but that's all right. There we go. That should be good. All right. Let me get this bad boy dropped here. Is my trailer M30028 right there in the middle. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, drop this at the shipper. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let me show my arrival call. Drop trailer, yes. M30022. M30022, I think that's what it is, M3. Yes. All right, let's, uh, let's go out here and drop it. I, I could have went back more. Oh, well. It's all good, all good in the hood. All right.
M30022. All right, let me do my uh, my drop trailer inspection on that. Dropping it off. Any product on the trailer? No. Repair required? No. Dirty inside? No. Trash inside? No. Dirty outside? No. Done. Send that off. Drop trailer inspection. And once this guy drops this trailer, we'll go hook up to M30028. All right, let's go hook up. Let's go hook up to this bad boy right here. Oh yeah, it's underneath it, that's for sure. M30028, that's the one we want. Locking jaws are around the kingpin. All right, let's, uh, lighting is working. All right, lights back here are working. So first thing I wanna do is make sure that this back seal number matches. Uh, let's see here ending in 5688. We got 5688, looking for 58. Wait, 5688, that's on there. So I'm looking for 5687. 5687. Uh, 5687. All right, everything on there looks good. <laughs> Let's, uh, you know, it might be smart if we check to find out if it's going to the right spot. Burns, Kansas, that's where we're going. That's it right there, baby. All right, now that we're uh, we're all hooked up to her, I already wrote down my uh, my trailer number on my trip sheet right here. You fill one of these out every time you run a load. I've said that before. In case you're new to the channel, trip sheet, you gotta fill them out. So this is Digest going to Burns, Kansas. I've never been to this receiver before, but it said I gotta pump off, so it's all good. Okay, next thing I gotta do is, okay, why hasn't this updated yet? Okay, that doesn't make any sense why this hasn't updated. Uh, so this is a new receiver. I've never been here, so I already have it saved here in my Garmin. Now, people have asked me, Oh, why do you have two navigations? Well, I started off with Trucker's Path, so I bought this Garmin Desel 1010. It was like 899 bucks plus tax, almost $1,000. I thought by buying this, I could eliminate and not spend 30 bucks a month on Trucker's Path app, but the Garmin is not as good, in my opinion, as Trucker's Path app because of all the truck parking it shows on Trucker's Path app. So yes, I pay 30 bucks a month for the Platinum version of Trucker's Path app, you could get away with just Trucker's Path app. I kind of wasted money on this Garmin, but it does look nice. It's a backup unit basically for me. Here, I have this uh, I have this uh, receiver saved in here. I saved it last night uh, before I went home. F-B-E-R. I save it under the prime customer code. Uh, let's see here, should be on here. There we go. And we're gonna hit go on here. We're gonna let that calculate. And then now I'm going to look it up here. Now let's just double check 121 Main Street. It's 121 Main Street, Burn, Kansas, 66408 zip code. There we go. I've never been here, so uh, we'll see where, uh, where I get alone whenever we get there. Let's see how far I am away from this place. 327 miles away. And yeah, I think I'm going to go. Yeah, I think I'm going to go around this way. Yep, that's how I'm going to do it. I'll run 36 gives me a couple options i'm just gonna run this one because it's oh zero dollars in tolls this other one is 16 bucks we ain't paying for tolls not today but let's roll all right so my phone's not updating so i'm actually gonna go through the qualcomm and do my depart call we're gonna pull into this little uh little rest area northbound in uh what is that dearborn dearborn rest area dearborn missouri i think it's how you pronounce it i'm not 100 sure i am taking a good guess we're gonna pull in here real quick because i need to use the bathroom and i need to give me a little snacky snack 
All right, I'll switch myself to off duty here. All right, let's close that out for a minute. Turn my lights off here. Hey, I gotta give me something to eat. I'm 101 miles away, so should probably be there about uh, 9 p.m. My appointment isn't until actually tomorrow. You know what? I should probably actually double check that. Uh, my appointment for the receiver is actually tomorrow at 8 in the morning, but I'm gonna get there tonight. Maybe, fingers crossed, they'll load me. They'll let me uh, unload tonight. That'd be nice. Definitely gonna find out. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna be parking it here next to this trailer. Oh boy. I just went and checked in and they said that they don't have room. So I'm gonna shut her down here and get up in the morning and then see if they got room. I'm trying to transfer, transfer some files over. Looks like I'm transferring 45 gigs. It says it's gonna take about 35 minutes to transfer. And my internet box isn't working here. Sometimes my T-Mobile box doesn't want to work for some, for like whatever reason. I don't know. Don't be in a hurry. Don't play, don't play risky in the winter time. That's for sure. It's 8.04 in the morning. Uh, my appointment was at eight o'clock this morning. And right now there's another tanker back there, but they're unloading uh, chicken fat. I'm here to deliver digest, but there's only one, uh, one spot where they unload all the tankers. So once this tanker pulls out, then I'll go ahead and back up, get lined up. And then they said they would come out because I went and checked in again this morning because last night they didn't have enough room. So I told them I would check in in the morning. So right now, excuse me. I just hit a bull lucky charms. Wait for the, the unloaders to come out and give me the okay because they'll get a sample and all that good stuff. Make sure everything's good. Once they tell me we're good on the sample, uh, they'll probably tell me to go ahead and start hooking up and uh, maybe start pump, pumping off. All right, so we just got, um, we just got unloaded and we are headed over here to get our empty scale ticket. Uh, and this pump was leaking like a mother sucker. All right, let me go in here and get a scale ticket. Now we gonna bounce up out of here, guys. This load is done. I sent some pictures and a message to Road Assist about the, this pump was leaking uh, pretty good whenever I was getting unloaded. So I filled up a five gallon bucket. Oh, excuse me, of digest. And I also messaged my dispatcher, sent him pictures to let him know that this pump is leaking. Uh, but I got, I got a, it's a, it's a leaking right there. Is something leaking in here? Oh, is that just from a little bit from that? Why is that leaking? Is it leaking in here? No. It's really cold, guys. I came out here to check out my APRs. It's at 2,528. Woo! It's cold. All right. Woo! All right, so report my APU hours. 25,028. Send it off to Prime. Now yeah, they got it. So right now I'm just currently waiting for waiting for them to send me a load right now, guys. Switch myself to off duty. Cause I am done. It's freezing out there. Bro, it was 19 degrees whenever I woke up. I was not ready for that. I'm, I'm not ready for winter. Yeah, we'll see where we're going next. So this, um, so I got this load just in time for payroll. I'll put this here up on the screen. These are the four loads that I ran uh, this week and I just hit payroll cutoff right now. It's 10.33 in the morning, Wednesday. Payroll cutoff is 3 p.m. Central time, Missouri time. Uh, Wednesday, so I got four loads in this week. I think I wrote it down here somewhere. Okay, so the four loads, the total revenue was four thousand nine hundred sixty dollars and twenty-five cents. So I'm not sure exactly what my paycheck's going to be. I'm probably going to guess about twenty-five hundred bucks. I've been going pretty slow. I've been running my truck about sixty miles an hour. So uh, in this week, this past week, I averaged ten point uh one five miles per gallon so pretty good i'm gonna keep rolling at 60 uh, and see if that helps the paycheck basically so i don't really like going that slow but if they go put an extra 200 bucks in my pocket a week i'll go ahead and run 60. all right so if you're gonna lease with prime and use abacus taxes to handle your taxes with here with prime as a lease driver you fill out one of these forms every month and you send it in through the prime app or you can email it to them, either one, or you can do both, doesn't matter. I was doing both for a while, then I stopped doing both. I just started doing it right through the Prime app. So anything you pay out of your pocket or with your business card, business credit card, personal card, your bank card, whatever, you write all that stuff down. For instance, I bought like $200 worth of oil additives this month. That, you know, that, that would include things like uh, windshield washer fluid, anti-gel, coolant, fifth wheel grease, things like that I put under oil slash additives on this form. Safety gear, weather gear, you know, if I buy a jacket, if I buy a beanie, 
things like that, I write it down. So just make sure that, you ch that you're keeping track of everything that you spend because the more you write off, the lower that tax bill is going to be. So I'm actually, I'll put this here up on the screen for you. So I just filled out for October's, it's November 1st. I like to try to get this done the first few days of the following month. So I try to fill this out right away and send it in so that way I can be done with it. And we're gonna do this together. So I'm gonna go into the Prime app. So I'm gonna go where it says view all loads. I'm gonna go into one of my most recent loads. It could be any load. So AFB, international, I'm gonna click on this. And I'm gonna go ahead and select trip documents. And under document type, I'm gonna go all the way down to where it says accounting services. I'm gonna hit next. Then I'm gonna take a picture. I'm taking a picture right now of my out-of-pocket expenses here. So this is the form, has everything on there. You total it out yourself. Now I'm gonna hit next. It's already pre-filled. And you could click any corner of this uh, box here and move it around to make it fit if it doesn't line up properly. We're gonna hit next. We're gonna go ahead and send that off. We're gonna hit no send batch. Bam showing that it's uploading to accounting services sometimes it might take a minute it's all depending on your um your your network where you're at so it still says okay so it's still saying processing but it basically sent it because it gave me a confirmation so i'm going to go ahead and hit done and that's it make sure again you send these forms in every month the more you write down you know for instance if i went and bought a four thousand dollar camera for my trucking with rex for my YouTube uh, account, I would write that down under here under miscellaneous expenses. So if I did buy a $4,000 camera for me, that would be a tax write-off because it's part of my business. Yeah, so we're leaving the receivers right now and I'm gonna be going back to Springfield again. So I'll probably be home tonight uh, because they gotta fix this pump, leaking pump on this trailer. So I sent messages and pictures to Road Assist, also sent it to my dispatcher. He just said, hey, can you bring it to the tank wash here? So leaving uh burn kansas right now and headed uh, back to the springfield tank wash oh fun 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 hey it's a uh, it's a little windy and cold let's see here how cold is it well i guess it's not too too bad it's 42 degrees back in springfield again i'm gonna be at home three times this week and i'm still gonna make 2500 bucks not too bad all right, let's give this uh, Swift guy here plenty of room. I do not want to end up on Twisted Truckers or whatever, Bonehead, uh, uh, Bonehead Truckers. Yep, so we're gonna uh, drop this uh, empty, dirty trailer off and uh, my dispatcher and Rhoda says said they're gonna get the pump repaired because it's leaking really bad. Uh, it was a nightmare at the receivers, kinda. I got through it though, got through it filled up a couple buckets five gallon buckets of some digest had a i went through two damn rolls of paper towels to contain and clean up this let me turn off my navigation here guys okay because i don't need it i don't even know why i still had it on that's not bad at all i don't know many places i i'm unaware of any if somebody knows uh any place where i could be home three nights in a week and uh make 2500 bucks in my pocket shoot that down in the comments guys I wonder what surprise they're gonna have for us tomorrow. What kind of load? I hope it's a good one. We like good loads. My badge retractor thing is not working right. It's not retracting my badge right, guys. I think I might be in trouble. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second, what the heck's going on here? There we go. There we go. I was like, wait a second, it is not working out so well right now for me. All right, daddy's here. Daddy is here, guys. No fear, Rex is here, guys. I got you guys a trailer. I know y'all need some trailers here. Probably nobody's even here. Yeah, nobody's even here. But we gonna drop this one off here. We gonna drop her. Drop her real nice. All right. I need to get my jacket here. All right, I always do a drop trailer inspection here. I'm not driving. Let's see here, macros. 
Let's do a drop. A drop on M30028. That's the trailer, I think. Yes, uh, it is at uh, TCT SPR. Any product on the trailer? No. Repair required before? Yes. Oh, uh, yeah, I got to put the pump leaking on here again. Dirty inside? Yes. Trash inside? Yes. Dirty outside? Yes. Trailer uh, pump seal leaking badly done. We're going to hit send. There we go. This is just my light windbreaker here. Well, it feels a lot better out right now than it did earlier. Earlier this morning when I was getting unloaded, guys, it was only 19 degrees, man. Woo. Trying to, I had to sit, I had to squat like down like this behind the trailer the whole time while I was unloading. And I had to angle a five gallon bucket like underneath the trailer because it wouldn't slide under the bumper. And uh, yeah, no wind on, no good. I did not like it very much at all. What? We got through it. What, what the hell are you gonna do, you know? I mean, you can in one hand and wish in the other. See which one fills up, guys. And trust me, no wishes were filling up in my hand, even though I was doing a lot of wishing. Going back home. Again.